One area I always turn to in Photoshop, channels. One of the best features of Photoshop for me, you can see the result here, just a very basic gradient turned into this using channels. So where do you find it? Well, it's in the window menu, window and channels. As soon as you go there, you'll notice you've got red, green, and blue if you're using RGB, or maybe cyan, magenta, etc. if you're using CMYK. And you can select the cyan or the red channel and just apply effects. Now, not every effect can be used, but most. So just try it out. And here, I'm doing it with a gradient. Go to the tools panel and set the gradient tool. And I'm just gonna use a rainbow gradient, very basic gradient and linear and blend mode of difference and apply. You can apply at any angle. Within seconds, you've got a super colorful design. Go to window menu and channels. You can see it here, I've got RGB, red, green, and blue. To use the red channel, simply click. And there you have it in grayscale. Now you can apply your filter effect. So I'm gonna to go to filter and down to distort and wave. But you could use any of the others as well. Other than the ones that you can see are actually grayed out. So wave. In the panel, go to number of generators. I always set it back to one. The default is five. Go for wavelength, you can vary that. Keep it fairly low. And have the other one in about the middle. Then amplitude, you can vary it of course. You can see a little preview. And I'm gonna go with the max. Then sign and wrap around. Once you're happy with it, click OK. You can then go to the other channels. So I'm just gonna to go to green. Now I can do exactly the same. I can apply exactly the same filter and exactly the same way. I can go to filter and distort and wave. And I can set the value slightly different. Just change it. Just change the wavelength or even better, click randomize. So randomize, and you can see as you do that, a whole variety of different designs are created. Click OK. And of course, what you can do, go up here, filter and wave. You can repeat it on the same channel and you can see the effect there. A really good idea is to increase the size of the navigator. As soon as you do that, you can see the effect because at the moment you can only see the grayscale, but the navigator will show you the entire RGB. Now go to the blue channel. You can apply other effects. You can always go to filter and blur and box blur or Gaussian blur. Then click OK. I'm going with 117. Also then filter and down to distort and wave again. And you can see number of generators one again, and you can keep the same settings. And you can also click randomize, click OK. And you can apply it multiple times and create all kinds of imagery. Once you're finished, go back to RGB by simply clicking here and you've got your final image. However, you can always apply it again. So go to filter and wave or again. Well, I hope you found this video of interest. Always adding new videos all the time. Got lots of other videos about waves as well as distortions and much, much more. All about Photoshop, how to use it, how to apply, create all kinds of really weird and wonderful effects. Also, I've got another channel, Graphic Extras, where I've got loads of distortion videos as well as channels videos. So please check that out. Please subscribe to this channel, always great for that. And also click the like or dislike. Also, if you've got any questions, please put any comments. How will you use this? Do you think this is a great effect? Do you think that you could use it in different ways? What sort of other imagery would you use? Maybe gradients is a great one, but you can also use it like with custom shapes, also just images, use it with text to create some really interesting text effects. Also, you can, of course, use it with layers. Now I've just used it on a single layer, but you don't have to use it just on a single layer. But many different designs can be created using this approach. Well, hope you found this of interest. Bye.